Pisces. Hi guys, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is your another love reading for you. I hope you guys are doing well, healthy, you're happy. Um, yes, I am ready to do your reading. We're going to take a look at the current energy between you and a love interest. We're going to see what the potential outcome is and of course pull you some advice. Okay. Um, please keep in mind, I could be doing this reading for a cross watcher, so don't force it to fit your side, just take it how it resonates, okay? If it sounds confusing, if you're scratching your head, if it doesn't make sense, it's probably not your reading. It should feel familiar to you, it should resonate, okay? Alright, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe Source, with messages of love do you have for Pisces? <clears throat> Give them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity, and peace of mind. This is for Pisces and love. Okay. One more shuffle. And we'll see what's happening with you guys. Okay, the current energy between you and a love interest is what? Victim. Hmm, victim. Oh, I did get a channeled song, I, I think. I'm not sure if I set this on the Pisces videos yet, but I am still getting accustomed to um, channeling songs. It's a very new thing for me. And I did channel, I don't know if I ch I'm channeling a song or if a song just, you know, because I think of songs all the time. I'm always singing. And it was um, Aaliyah. I think it's called um, The One I Gave My Heart To. The One I Gave My Heart To. Okay. I'm just going to put it and I'll link it below. Again, if, it, if it's not, if it has nothing to do with the reading, if you don't resonate with that, It'll just be another beautiful song you can listen to. Because it's a very, actually a very pretty song. Um, yeah. Okay. So, victim is the current energy between you and a love interest. The potential outcome is destiny. Okay. And your advice, Pisces, is a service. Service. Okay. Underneath that is Miracle. Okay, the Miracle card has come out quite often. Not sure why, but it has. I've seen it a number of times. Okay, so let's find out why Victim is here. Okay. Like someone has done you wrong, someone has harmed you, hurt you. Um, you know what I mean? It's something like that. Alright, Spirit. Why is Victim here? Or Pisces. Why is victim here? Why is victim here for Pisces? Okay, two of wands. Okay, making a decision between two things at a crossroads, two paths, two people, two different directions. Um, assessing it just this is definitely uh, assessing your life. Why the two of wands? Okay, the Ten of Cups could be a relationship, something that makes you very happy, High Priestess, using your intuition, intuition, very spiritual, High Priestess, why the High Priestess? Ooh, the Fool reversed. Because um, something may be like a bad choice. This could be you being indecisive because you do have the Two of Wands there, uh, Pisces. But well, this could be like, I'm, I'm not sure because this might be a bad choice. Why the full reverse? Ace of Cups with the Knight of Wands to start something up with someone, like a new love. Someone you just met. Hmm. With the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag could be a fire sign you're dealing with. This is someone who's not consistent, who's in and out of your life. Why the Knight of Wands? Not all the time, but I'm kind of getting that feeling, feeling that energy here. Why the Knight of Wands? Whoa. 
Why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay. Why the Knight of Wands? There it is. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles with the Six of Wands reversed. Okay, those are going to just have to be cut off a little bit. King of Pentacles. Oh, that's a Taurus card. That could be even an Aries. Six of Wands reverse. Mm, maybe something. Mm -hmm. With that Six of Wands, it's like you're not overcoming the obstacles. It's not, something is not successful. Why the Six of Wands reverse? I feel like this person, the Four of Cups, yes. So this person has done you wrong. They, they've not been good to you. But I don't know if you, to some degree, they make you happy. There's something you like about them, something you love about them. Um, you could just love them. What, what's the energy of victim? Well, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Why the Queen of Pentacles? That's a uh, Capricorn, a Sagittarius, Ace of Pentacles, and the reverse. Yeah, I, I just get like your some type of hesitation. This could just be your love interest. I, I think they did hurt you. I think they did something to you. Maybe they're coming back around with that Knight of, Knight of Wands. You know, like that in and out energy. They've probably called you. They want to see you. You know what I mean? I don't see this Knight of Wands making a commitment, but it's, it might be like, yeah, can I come over? Can I see you? But with the King of, but the King of Pentacles is there. What's the energy of the King of Pentacles? This could be... What's the energy of the King of Pentacles? Oh, wow. The star with the eight of swords. Yeah, this could be your person. I don't know. I, I, I feel like they... <sighs> eight of swords with the star. That's a very odd pairing. Because it makes me feel like someone... But like has faith or believes that they can control you. Like the stars. Like I feel like this person may think they can. Like they got. They can get you. Eight of, eight of swords. You know like you're weak for them. They're hoping this. Like they. Almost like you didn't overcome the last thing the last situation or whatever previously happened between the two of you I'm kind of getting that uh Pisces with the eight of swords it's like you know hoping you're still like bound or stuck or you know what I mean stuck in the like mm -hmm. that's strange because if they, they come back around, I mean, obviously you come back around because you're wanting this person to, you know, fulfill your request or your wishes or to meet up with you or, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking that one. But I, I feel like they did something to you that really hurt you. And here you are. I think this is you. You're worried about this. What's the energy of the Queen of Pentacles? The Strength card. That Queen of Pentacles, I don't, I don't think that's another person. Unless they're dealing with someone else. Because you're worried about this Queen of Pentacles. But one thing, the Queen of Pentacles is she's very thoughtful. You know what I mean? She's very, um, like she takes care of people. And I think you're like that, Pisces. I feel like you would take care of this person. You would love them. 
like very thoughtful, considerate, compassionate, right? But with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, I feel like a resistance to that. Like I can't give in to this person. Because that Knight of Wands is very charming, very sweet, come around, you know, but they have no staying power. They won't stick around. And that's probably why they're hoping, you know, you don't have the strength and you are weak. But you're not because you have the strength card. Okay? So you're worried about this, but you don't even need to be worried because you are, you are strong enough to endure this. You're strong enough to stand up for yourself. Yeah, and you're resistant for a reason because you're the victim. They did something to you. That makes you like this, okay? This person made you like this. You didn't make yourself like this, okay? They did something, and as a result, this is this is how you feel. So let's see what's going to happen between you and this person. Yeah, you. what you're feeling, that yeah, that intuition of yours is speaking to you. What you're feeling, listen to it. Because I feel like you know... That's not a good idea. So you have destiny for the potential outcome. So let's find out what's happening. Why is destiny here for the potential outcome for Pisces in love? Three of Swords. A breakup, heartbreak, disappointment. Why the Three of Swords? Oh, no. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Let me get this card. Okay, hold on. Alright, why is the Three of Swords here for the potential outcome? The Sun in Reverse. I think... This person, I don't think they're gonna... I, get, I have breakup here twice. The Three of Swords is like a breakup. But this sun in reverse is also a breakup, you know, um, something that makes you feel unhappy. Um, like if you had plans with this person, it doesn't, it's like, it's not going to go as planned. Why the sun reversed? The chariot moving on, moving forward, progressing forward. Why the chariot? That's cancer energy. Why the chariot? The Four of Cups, dissatisfied. I just don't think, listen, I think destiny is here is because you're, you're not meant to make it work with this person. Like, this is not your person. This is not your person. Why the Four of Cups? Okay. Aries. There's, that's the Emperor. Aries. Um, Scorpio. Why the Emperor? The Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. This person could be like the father of your children. This could be a spouse, an ex, a previous spouse. Like maybe you guys are separated. Um, or just, you know, something like that. Why the seven of pentacles? I feel like they are potentially, they could be watching you, but they could be just assessing your relationship. And they're working on something. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Okay. Some anxiety, stress, worry. Why the Nine of Swords? The Queen of Cups reverse. What's the energy of that Destiny card? Okay. Wow. Judgment. I feel like that's you making a judgment call or having an awakening. Why the judgment? It's almost like, let's see, let's see what that, why that judgment card came out. The ten of, ten of wands, let's go, ten of wands. Burden, exhausted, overwhelmed, overworked, weighed, feel weighed down. Why the ten of wands? I don't, with, with that destiny card, I'm getting, this is like 
a blessing in disguise. If you're hurt by this person and you walked away from them, like you're the you're the winner. Why the Ten of Wands? Whoa. Okay. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay. I mean. I do I feel like some of you Pisces like maybe you guys don't think you know or maybe you feel like you can't be independent or do something on your own about you know roll solo without this person or some of you I'm even getting like will I ever just be at a place where I don't think about them or want them or wish things were different that's kind of what I'm getting. What's the energy of the Judgment card? The Three of Cups. Yeah, I think you are thinking of getting back together with them, but there is something nudging you. There's, your, I think it's your intuition saying... Hey, you know, don't forget what this, this person did to you. You know what I mean? Like, keep that in mind. But I don't know. It's almost like... Like, how do I... How do I do this by myself? Why the Queen of Cups reverse? Ace of Pentacles, New Beginnings. What's the energy of that Eight of Pentacles? The Five of Wands. Yeah, so they may come in and try to like fix things. That's what I'm, what's the energy of, excuse me, the Queen of Cups reverse? The Four of Swords. Maybe they, I don't know, it's like, okay, I kind of get like they want to come in and uh, it's like they want to come in and be like this knight in shining armor to you, male or female. And they want to fix like the conflict, but I don't know, why do I feel like that's like their game plan? Because remember the first spread, I said, I feel like they are hoping they can still control you. Because it's not going to go as planned. I keep looking at this cancel plans, this break up, and then moving on. Not satisfied. And here, this person... Like, they're not happy. You know what I mean? They're worried. They're stressed out. I mean, they, maybe they're... Are they, they, they could be trying to heal or trying to be better. But they're not there yet. I can tell you that for sure. If you're wondering, if you are decis deciding because you had a lot of indecision, you had that two of wands, they're not there yet you may still deal with their crap let's get your advice and see what you should do because i don't see things going as planned like i, I see canceled plans i see breakup i see moving on making a decision i think you're still deciding you will be anyway if you want to reconcile with this person the Knight of Wands, they might just want to just like slide through, you know, come outside. <laughs> Can I stop by? Can we go get coffee? Like something like something very, you know, might be do dinner or something. All right, so you have service, service as your advice. So why does Pisces have service? Okay. Okay, judgment in reverse. Uh, this is about indecision as well. Four of Cups. What's the energy of service? What's the energy of that, of that service card? This, okay. I'm, I'm 
I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look up that word. This card. This is the, the, the ex. This is the person from the past. Why the Six of Cups? Six of Pentacles. Why the Six of Pentacles? The world in reverse. Stagnant. Let's see. Let me look up this service card. Okay. It says, are you seeing life as, are you seeing your life as it really is? Though we may wish things to be different, often we create just what we need. This is an opportunity to look at where you are today, give up what you think you deserve and start being of service. I attract to you whatever you desire if you give up your desire. Passion. Service energy here is one of manifesting through being of service. This card indicates a steadfast ability to stay the course emotionally and create something sustainable and lasting. It can also bring to light not seeing or valuing what you have. Okay. Um. Why do I get know your worth from that reading? Tell us more about the service card, Spirit. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. She's overwhelmed. She can be overwhelmed. Could be feeling spiteful. Could be feeling jealous. Why the Queen of Wands reverse? The Knight of Wands. Okay, the Knight of Wands came back out with the Magician. Demanding, pushy. Um, I I feel like this is telling you to know your worth, know your know know your know what you know your worth, know your value. Okay, because what I'm getting here is that this equal give and take thing is not gonna happen, and I saw that in the last spread and the potential outcome. The world card in reverse is all about stagnation. The judgment card in reverse literally is about um, disappointment or even like not like indecision. It could be all that indecision, worry, things failing. The four of cups is all about being dissatisfied. And here I get like this pushy person. They may be a little pushy. I mean, for you to for you to come off and spirit to give us the victim card tells me that this person which, you know, probably very controlling. I mean, they've had the emperor. The emperor is all about being authoritative. You know what I mean? Like, he can even come off militant in the upright position. This is in the upright position, okay? And with the magician here, it's like this person tries to get what they want. You know? Mm. It may just be coming around to see if they can if they still got you. Mm, okay. I'm gonna leave it there. I think this is all about you just knowing your worth, setting boundaries. Don't let this person get the best of you. Because I saw you considering because I think you love this person, and that's fine, but don't forget, okay? Don't forget. Alright? Because that's not cool. Like this equal give and take. Like it's stagnant. Like you're going to be disappointed if you think that this person's going to give you equal give and take. If they're going to put in all of this effort and energy into this. Yeah, to get what they want. But then the night, the night of, the night of wands is coming back out. Like, he's not consistent. He's not sticking around either. Alright, Pisces. I'm going to leave it there. Good luck with this, guys. You just... Whew, don't, don't get amnesia, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, I will see you all next week. Mwah. Deuces.